Good morning guys from White Hart Lane, Tottenham. We're at White Hart Lane. We're just having a little walk around. We've got Yorkie Lucy here. Are we Lucy? Hey, she's excited. She's at White Hart Lane. We're just walking down. We're gonna to go towards the stadium. Have a look at the stadium. And yeah, very good morning guys. I come to White Hart Lane because of uh, one of the subscribers uh, said to me yesterday, he came on the stream. I was so happy with the stream. All the subscribers came on there and, and said hello. Paul Sugar, this is for you, mate. Thank you so much for that big donation. That was awesome. You didn't have to do that, so I did this for you this morning. Got up and um, here I am, White Hart Lane. Yorkie Lucy's with us. As you can see the white stadium over there. I forgot to tell you, Paul, I actually worked in there, right in the middle of the stadium. I was working for a company, a company called um, Kelp Ray, and uh, they do the construction in there. And uh, I was driving a lorry, tipper lorry, taking all the construction waste, all the concrete out of there, all the all the muck and um, the earth out of right in the middle of middle of uh, the stadium actually i wish i could go in there this is the bit here which goes into the high street here very busy area around here loads of shops and restaurants as you can see not very big streets so unless you come to the high street side streets are very small and tight you've got big buses coming down yeah, you've got the old Tottenham, White Hart Lane here, guys. You can see up there, White Hart Lane Tottenham. There we are. And the stadium's coming round the corner here, guys. Here we go. Look at that. That's gigantic, isn't it? Absolutely gigantic. Loads of shops around here, really. There's a, there's a bit of a lovely artwork on a shop wall. I'll show you in a minute. You just go around the corner and you can see it. We walk around it. So, yeah. this must be your turf, uh, Paul, hey? Paul's turf, all these lovely, lovely shops here. Betting shops, <laughs> galore. We'll, we'll do it from this side of the road, then we'll come a bit closer. We've got all the kebab shops, chick shops, curry shops. United Nations here. How are you doing, mate? You right? Got the old Tottenham shops here, look. Here you go, guys. <laughs> got fruit shops. They're all here. All right. That's the old stadium. Absolutely huge. I'll park the car around here. Just literally around the corner. <laughs> yep. I made some good use out of your money, Paul. So, a bit of parking. Thank you so much, bro. Friendly people. Gigantic, isn't it, really? It's massive. Chicken and chips for later, Lucy. Got a bit of chicken. She don't really like chicken, you know. It's weird. She's not into chicken. Oh. Spurs versus Arsenal. There you go, Paul. When's that? I'm not much into football, guys, so well, I've done this for Paul. So, I mean, it, it wasn't far from where I live, literally a 15 minute, it took me 15 minutes actually in the car. I whizzed around the 406, the North Circular, and it was done. Look at this mural here. I've got to take a nice picture of this mural. It looks awesome, doesn't it? Nice. Wow, shame these cars are out are really nice. Chimurial. Let me just shut down this, I've got to take a short video of this. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, we're still here guys, so I'm trying to get you a good shot. Thumbnail, maybe. <laughs> I'm just shortening uh, the selfie stick. It's quite a long selfie stick, this. Extends quite out. There we go. Back. I don't know how far we can go up, walk about. I'm not sure really yeah um you guys thank you so much for coming on stream yesterday that was an awesome stream really for the first stream that was uh 
that was so cool yesterday i really enjoyed it i enjoyed your company guys so um you know really appreciate for the support yesterday that was absolutely awesome that's why i woke up so happy this morning you shouldn't really forget the area just because of one stadium as well this is tottenham and if you uh, drive that way towards the uh, north circle as uh, upper edmonton and then it goes when you go across the north circular it becomes lower edmonton than uh, edmonton town all i can smell here is barbecue charcoal smell absolutely awesome lucy do you reckon we should have a charcoal kebab today treat ourselves <laughs> oh what a smell barbecue it's all i can smell it's awesome isn't it it's huge i didn't realize it's going to be this big i haven't been here since i worked on it really i, I stayed on on this job for about a month and i was uh, transferred somewhere else yeah i remember there was gates here there used to be gates here and you should drive in and uh, line up to uh, to take the the waste the construction waste way really it's huge here's these cameras everywhere guys no entry you can't you can't go on there even uh, you wanted to get yourself all the kit out football kit you got your shop here guys well these ticket offices some sort of shop shop kit yeah. small clothes and stuff like that really i wouldn't like to walk here at night though there's still parts of the stadium still doing a bit of work get your programs have a good old walk round there shall we experience let's see let's see what's down here yeah the company was called Kelpre I was working on there I think I've got videos um, somewhere I don't know if it's on my Facebook or something you've got to dig quite a few years back to get the video and you'll see me in the lorry the construction I'm gonna try and find it for you and I'm gonna re-upload it somewhere wow huge isn't it Lucy's loving it she's uh looking for all lampposts oh, there's loads of lampposts here oh loads of text messages for Lucy oh she's texting everyone <laughs> that big is that a big satellite dish it must be some sort of like communication dish or something like that no entry no entry I like to jump those really go up there and, what are you doing in there so cool but we're walking around here now let's go right round the stadium Let's see, let me, let me uh, send a selfie so you, you lot can see. See much in here guys? You go. Wow, it's a bit stiff to stick when you bring it down. It doesn't come, it's quite a cheap one really. It does, I'm not a millionaire. Well, let's go from this angle, let's take it from this angle, isn't it? Right, that looks a nice shot from this angle, doesn't it? That's awesome, Lucy, Lucy's seen a bit of green, a bit of bushes, she's, she's interested. There you go. Right. Lucy keeps tugging me. Stop tugging me, Lucy. Lucy keeps tugging me. Lucy, this is important. Stop tugging me. <laughs> wow, it looks so massive, doesn't it, really? It's awesome. Come on, Lucy. You've got a bit of green. You've got a bit of lamppost. You must be in your element. I'm sure when I woke up this morning, I see a bit. I see, well, I got up really early, half past six. I was up and um, it was quite misty and uh, I thought oh one of those days and I'm foggy and I thought oh then the sun came out and I, and I raced in that shower by the time I got the shower by the time we came in it was all cloudy again <laughs> so we might get a burst of rain day hopefully not but it's going to be cool really to do the video here absolutely trying to get I want to get a really nice camera just to take shots but so expensive for these cameras well and I'm starting to really enjoy filming photography and stuff before when I first started doing photography I thought oh I can't get into that I just don't understand it but gradually when, once you start filming you start looking at angles of the actual what what you're filming and you think oh that could do a really good uh, picture shot you start noticing things like that and that's how it builds up in you so yeah spurs uh, that looks good doesn't it around there Hey Lucy, lovely if someone took me in there. I could film all over the place inside. Some football star just arrives 
in the coyote. Come on, mate, let's jump in. I'll take you in. I would love that. That's got to be the shot, isn't it? What do you think, guys? Selfie there. That's the perfect shot there. For some people, it's boring. I'm not into football, but sometimes I like to watch the very big matches. But I don't really follow it. So I don't know who's playing for who. I just know the top players really but where I live I live uh, in Newham so it's West Ham really but I don't really even support them but they're in my county and uh, getting the weather's getting a bit cold now so it's getting a bit of a chill in the breeze so cool offices upstairs they're very busy it must be coming a big match so people must be getting ready all the tickets and stuff like that organizing stuff must be a million pound deals going on probably footballers are up there look quite fit men up there having a laugh and joke enjoying themselves keeping their place clean Shame they don't do that all the high street <laughs> i actually remember coming down this road in my lorry it was one of the exits that you came out you went in for the main road and you came out here this side street right at, right at the bottom i think here where the bollards was they had security here by this metal wall and this is where they checked you out and then let you go out checked what load you had what type of load and everything they made sure that your vehicle was safe to go back out on the road nothing was going to fall off right you've got a little bridge over there guys so my over there going into a sainsbury store <laughs> department wow it's awesome what do you think lucy doesn't care all she wants is a sniff of a lamppost and a quick text message read. Try and get this uploaded as quick as I can. Obviously I've got to go home and do the cooking. My little girl come back from school, my little princess. Hey, Emily's coming back from school later, hey? See, I don't care. Definitely I remember coming down this road in my lorry. Yeah, I'll try and dig out that video and, and I'll show you. It's quite old. Old few, quite a few years well, old when they were doing the. You can go back to when they were building it, that's how far I think it's on my Facebook. I'm sure it is. I'm going to try and see, dig it out. Wait, Lucy, let ladies go first. There we go, we're going around again. The old Sainsbury's, been there ages. So we've gone literally around the block. So the stadium's connected to the Sainsbury's. <laughs> Or the footballers doing their shopping maybe come on lucy before we get run over we don't want to get run over do we hello doggy hello how are you hello <laughs> no worries Welcome. Uh, name? Uh, her name's lucy lucy she's seven she's really cute yes <laughs> welcome it's all right i yeah. see lucy you're, you're cute Everybody loves Lucy. That makes a day, that makes Lucy's day. It's the car park, so I suppose it's a good place to come and park your car, do a bit of shopping and have a walk around here. That's what you can do, guys. That's a good idea, isn't it? You want to come and visit and do your shopping. You've got Sainsbury's massive parking space here. Come and do your shopping, have a walk around, have a coffee or something like that. Awesome. And you've got an Argos inside and a Habitat. Wow, this must be really big. I've never been in here. This must be huge. It's quite a big uh, oh, glass. So you keep away from broken glass. I don't know why people smash glass on the, on the pavement. Poor dogs and animals. Oh, sorry, uh, Lucy's reading a text message on the tree. Come on, Lucy. It must be a big text message, that one. <laughs> That's it. We, I remember this road. And we used to turn right here, go back towards Edmund and back to before us. You can go down the 46 that way, but I don't know if there's a restriction, I can't remember or something. That's at Northumberland Park, N7E. That's the high road. We're coming up to the high road, guys. So, we've got Wahart Lane just in front of us on the right. Morning. Right, there you go, Paul. This is all for you. Nice little kebab shops and uh, there's the traffic coming. Are we good to go, you see? Yeah, looks like it. All different uh, mixed community here, Turkish, African, West Indies, all different Jewish, all uh, mixed here, and they all get on. It's cross, Lucy. No one indicates, so I don't know which way to indicate. This is an indicator, Blanca. There you go, guys. What heart lane itself. Let me just get a shot here. 
Wait, Lucy. There you go. Guys, don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Paul. Much appreciate for you all guys coming on yesterday's stream. Thank you. Over and out.